Hey everyone, welcome to Detach Garage. If you're new to the channel, my name is Sean, and this channel is all about helping you plan, design, build, and upgrade your garage. In today's episode, we're talking upgrades. We're gonna get into the garage and do the installation video of the garage door lighting LED kit. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Detach Garage. In today's episode, we're installing the garage door lighting kit on my garage door. I'm gonna take you through step-by-step -step instructions on how to install this garage door lighting kit. If you have any questions at all, please throw them down in the comments. Step number one, we are mounting this kit and this harness right over here to this side of the garage door. So we're gonna take this harness, we're gonna mount it in its correct location, and then we're gonna string it up on the side of this garage door. But before we do that, we're actually gonna get started by cleaning the actual garage door. All right, now that that section of the garage door is a little bit cleaner, we're gonna take the harness itself and we're gonna start installing it, starting from the top and working our way down. So the instructions say to mount this harness here with this first top bracket or top plug above this top bracket here. So um, I'm trying to figure out how to mount the harness. Uh, the instructions themselves uh, just basically show it with this, little, uh, with this little clip here. So I'm gonna go grab one of those clips. It looks like there's some zip ties right up here as well with some of those um, double-sided tape to mount it to that location there. So I'm gonna go grab some zip ties and we're gonna see what we can do. All right guys, so what I did is I removed this little screw or this little bolt here. I didn't even remove it all the way. I just backed it out so I could fit this in here. But if you take a step back and look, um, with the harness in place, if I attach it, if I attach the harness to this location here, it ends up hitting the ground at the bottom uh, down here. So I really wanna stay away from the ground as much as possible, especially since we live in a snowy area. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna move the mounting point up here and see if that will help raise it up off the ground a little bit. I think that'll put my final row of lights right here, which actually helps so it could go into the garage a little bit further. And so when it's down on the track, it'll actually be further into the garage here, and then it'll help uh, get up, get the light further into the garage and help match up with the, my existing light here as well. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back these, I'm gonna back these two bolts out, and then I'm gonna move uh, both of them up and hopefully we can uh, get that fixed and taken care of. All right, let's get to it. All right guys, so I finally got that one up there. It was a little hard, I had to bend the plastic a little bit because of that specific way that that bracket mounts to it. So a little bit of modification to fit on my garage door where I want it to fit. Now you can absolutely put it where the instructions say, but I want as much light into my garage as possible. So um, a little bit of modification, I'll take my phone right now, get a zoomed in closer look for you. Um, but then we're gonna move the other brackets up and I think it'll work out just perfectly with that spacing uh, of that harness from the factory with that uh, nice, really nice protective loom over that wiring harness um, to get that spacing correct with all, the little, uh, with all the little plugs that match up with the female ends of the LED strips. So let's get to it. All right guys, so I was able to move this bracket from here up to here. Uh, so now I'm gonna move this one up to this bottom 
uh, bottom one here. So we should be able to get that moved up and then I'm gonna install the other two and we should be good to go, all right? Let's get to it. guys so as you can see I have the four uh, brackets in place here for the mounting of the harness so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the harness up at the very top and then let this let it hang down and make sure that the spacing between all of these is good and then we can get some very very loose zip ties on there we'll run the garage door up and down just to make sure that it functions correctly and that uh, there's enough slack in the entire system for it to be able to function properly without binding up the harness all right <laughs> All right, guys, so I have the harness installed on the garage door here. I'm gonna run the garage door up and down just to make sure that there's no binding, everything works all right, and then we'll go from there. All right. all right, guys, so we are closing the garage door here. Everything looks to be pretty good. No binding or anything in the harnesses. Everything's still fairly loose, so we'll get it tightened up, get the spacing correct, and then we will go ahead and start on step number two. All right, guys, so this is the LED strip. You can see that it has the female connectors on here that will match up with the male connectors uh, on the harness over there. So they already have uh, some 3M adhesive tape on the back of this. They recommend cleaning it very, very well. So right now I'm just gonna kind of mark out where exactly it's going to go on the garage door. Uh, then I'm gonna string one of these strands out just so I can see um, how, uh, just so I can see how far across the garage door it goes, that way I can get it centered. And then after that, I'll give it a good wipe down and then we'll get the first one of these installed. All right, guys, so I have the very top layer of the garage door clean and ready for this double-sided tape. I'm gonna throw the double-sided tape up there. Uh, I, it says you might not need to cut it. I'm not sure on that, but uh, I got my trusty Milwaukee uh, box opener here, and we'll get that thing cut. We'll get it mounted up there, and then I'm not sure if we mount the LED strip then or if we, there's another step before we do that, but let's get to it. All right guys, so I have the double-sided tape mounted all the way across the garage door. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, remove the backing of this and then also remove the backing of the LED lights. And then I'm gonna match them up and get the first row hung up there. All right, let's get to it. All right guys, so I have the first portion of the LED strip mounted. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, I looped this little thing back behind this bracket here. So the connection is gonna go com come around and get connected up there. I might adjust the angle of this just slightly, but I'm gonna continue on removing the tape, I'm sorry, the paper side from the double-sided tape and then the paper side from the back of this. So sticky to sticky and we will get this uh, LED light strip run all the way across the garage door. Stay tuned. Right, guys. 
guys. So I have my first row of LEDs mounted to the garage door. So when you get to the end here, um, they say you can, when, if you do have extra LEDs like I do, you literally just cut at this section here. So I'm gonna take uh, my side cutters and give that a cut to remove the excess LEDs. All right, guys, so I have my very first LED strip up on the garage door. Uh, once you get the hang of it, it goes pretty quickly. Uh, definitely like that there's that two-part adhesive, one on the back side of the LEDs and one on the double-sided tape. Uh, you can kind of just pull both pieces of paper off as you're going along and then tack the LEDs as you go. So I'm gonna go back over the top of the LEDs and just make sure they're tacked down really well. Um, then what I'm gonna do is actually pull out the power supply, plug it in, and make sure that this LED lights up. Stay tuned. <music> All right, guys, so I have this plug plugged in, and then I also have some jumper cables here uh, for testing this out. So I've got the, uh, the black routed to the black, and I have the red routed to the red. Uh, this is DC power, so these are not touching anything. Uh, so I'm gonna take this, and we're gonna run this back to the power supply, and I will plug the power supply in over here, and we will see what happens. Boom, look at this guys, first LED strip up and running. Always good to test out uh, your work before you move on to the next step. So I'm just basically gonna repeat this step three more times uh, throughout the, starting from the top of the garage door and going to the bottom of the garage door and uh, we'll get the rest of this thing installed. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, we have three of the double-sided tape strips up. I'm gonna do the last one now. We'll get all four up, and then we're just gonna to go to town with those LED light strips. <laughs> All right, guys, test number two, two LED strips. Let's do this. Boom, we got two LED strips lit up. Let's get the third one on. <laughs> Alright guys, I have all four LED strips strung across the garage door. We're going to plug them in real quick with the test wires, making sure that they illuminate correctly. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so I have all four of these LED strips up and working on the garage door. We're gonna do a part two installation video of the actual 
proprietary connector along the track. I'm just gonna tidy these wires up here, make sure the zip ties are tight and make sure that there's enough double-sided tape in there to make sure that the wires flow smoothly. If you have any questions about what you saw in this installation or things that I should focus on for the next video, leave them in the comments below. We'll get to the next video soon. Thanks for watching part one of the garage door lighting install on Detach Garage.